Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And there's really only one front, maybe like one and a half fronts that the West will deal with this week. And, and it's going to race through. It's a racer from Montana to Wyoming and to Colorado, New Mexico, where it's sunny right now. This is Jackson Hole. You got the valley, the valley fog bank, and it's sunny above on rendezvous. But uh, your snow is coming Monday, Monday into early Tuesday. Um, so that is Jackson Hole. Here's Big Sky, where your snow will mainly be on Monday as it races south. Um, and then into Steamboat, where it's you know beautiful day there. And it's sunny in Steamboat right now as well. Your snow will come overnight Monday into very early Tuesday. You can see the gondola running. Beautiful day in Colorado ahead of this thing. Here's the pattern. So the jet stream is running like this, escorting all the storms way up into BC. And then down, There's it's taking a sharp right-hand turn. And then there's a big trough out to the east. But the cold front or cold front, one and a half, will basically dive south on this flow, this eastern periphery, and race through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico, and only brush glancing blow of the Wasatch. I'm only forecasting an inch in the Wasatch out of all this. And the uh, west coast is under this gigantic high. So there's nothing. I've got nothing for California and poten till potentially next weekend. And even in the Pacific Northwest, there's a little bit of action sliding through the Banff area right now into, to, into Monday morning. But once all that exits, we may not have anything in the Pacific Northwest until next weekend. It's a pretty amplified pattern and a pretty dry one. Um, it, that said, let's look at the model. Um, here's GFS, and um, it's suggesting that by the time we get into Monday morning, and here we are Monday morning, fronts racing south through Montana, quickly into Wyoming during the day on Monday, and then Monday night, Tuesday morning into Colorado, and throughout the day on Tuesday, it dives south. By Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, it's already in northern New Mexico, and that is it. There's, there may potentially be a tiny little front behind this. You can see it indicated here. During the day on Wednesday, coming south out of Montana through Wyoming and through Colorado into early Thursday, that may be a secondary front. I'd say that one's questionable. We'll see. Um, but there's not a lot to it. There's just not a lot. The first front's actually got more to it. Um, here we are. This is Saturday morning, high pressure across the west. Sunday morning, starting to see another low, finally hitting the Pacific Northwest and snow into the uh, interior B.C., um, here we are on Monday morning and into Tuesday morning. This is the first sign of anything in California in like a month. Um, this is a sign that things may be changing. And I do think once we slide into February, we're looking at a more active pattern across the West. And this is just the first signs of that. And here it comes, that low. This is Wednesday morning, the 2nd of February. Look at that big low taking shape across the West. This would be the biggest storm that I've seen across most of January, or at least in the last few weeks across the interior Mountain West. So this is a pattern change if this holds together. And again, that's roughly the 2nd, 3rd of February right there. All right, let's look at my snow totals, and this will run us all the way from today through the 1st of February. So uh, potentially, you know, that first front and then maybe that tiny one behind it, and then a little bit by the time we get to the first, that's what we're accounting for right here. You can see the numbers. And yeah, believe it or not, if we get that storm on the 1st of February, California could see its first snow in a long time. You can see some snow in the Pacific Northwest, Banff, and then down running through the interior um, into uh, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Hopefully that holds. Let's look at the Northeast. And right here, what I'm accounting for are basically two or three Alberta Clippers this week. Um, there may potentially be a larger storm for this weekend, but I'm not uh, including it on this forecast because I, the track for this potential weekend storm is just all over the place, and it may be too far offshore. So there you go. That's what I'm expecting over the next, uh, well, basically through the end of the month. Let me take you back to my west totals here, all of today through the 1st. So what we're looking at, again, is the one front that comes through Monday night, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and then maybe one small front behind that. Uh, and then after that, potentially a larger pattern change as we work our way into the 1st. And let me take you back to that, into the 1st of February. So this is the 1st of February right here. 
You can see it on the model, the GFS, the low sitting off the coast affecting California, Idaho, Montana. And then by the second, it moves all that precip potentially into Utah, Wyoming, and then it's headed for Colorado by the 3rd of February right there. So that is what is potentially on the horizon. At least we have something to look forward to there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Have a great end of the weekend.